Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Malin. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to show you a really simple and easy way to achieve the fox eye and this is seriously so easy that anyone can do it. So if you want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. So the first step is the eyebrows and I'm going to use the brow wiz in medium brown. As you can see, I have, because of YouTube, shade off the ends of my brows. I don't know why I did that. So I'm going to draw on new ends that's kind of higher up than my natural brows are to kind of lift the eyes. I'm just filling in. And at the end here, I'm going to just drag it out. like this and then I'll do the same on the top Then I'll just build up the color. So now you can kind of see the difference. This one looks so much more lifted. I just need to set it because these hairs are living its own life, which is so annoying. I just want to stick right down. Uh, but yeah, I will let my brows grow out again because I think it's really hard to make the product stick when you don't have any brows. And I'm used to having pretty thick brows, so it's really minimal product that I actually use on my brows. But yeah, I feel like it just goes off very easy. But you know, when you're bored, you do a lot of stupid things. And I also can't be trusted with scissors, so... Yeah, I'm really trying not to do anything that I will regret. And then I'm going to take a concealer brush with some high coverage concealer and I'm just going to clean up the brows.
Okay, so now that the brows are done, I'm going to do my face makeup off camera and then I'll be back to do the eyes. So now that the face is done, I'm going to go over to the eyes and I'm going to use the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette because I know a lot of you have this one and this is really the perfect palette for like everyday looks. But before I go in with eyeshadow, I'm just going to set the eyelids. I'm just going to tap out the concealer. And then I'm going to go in with the Mineral Wear Loose Powder from Physicians Formula. This one is actually really good. I just started to try it out a couple of days ago. And now I'm going to go into the palette and I'm going to pick up... I'm going to pick up Orange Soda. Wow, sorry. There. <laughs> orange Soda. And I'm going to go in very lightly. I'm just taking this through my crease and also over the lid. And at the end here, I'm just flicking it out. And the reason that I flick it out is because to create a kind of fox or cat look you don't want to emphasize the roundness of your eye so i'm just going to flick it out at the end here and then i'm just adding the same shade to the eyelid Now I'm just going to go in with a smaller blending brush and I'm going to go into Burnt Orange which is a slightly darker but very similar color. I'm just going to add this at the end here. And this is not a big difference at all, but it helps to make the eyes look more lifted. I don't know if you can see a difference, but I can see a difference here. <laughs> and then I'm just going back with the first blending brush to just blend this all together. And that is basically the eyeshadow part, but now we're going to move over to eyeliner. And now you can decide if you want to use eyeshadow, gel liner, whatever you want. A gel liner will look kind of harder and it will make it more bold. Uh, today I'm going to use eyeshadow actually. I usually use gel liner. And I'm just taking that on a small teeny tiny angle brush. This is the scary part. I'm going to start with the inner corner here. You want to just follow the lash line on the upper part of your eye and just a tiny bit. You don't need much at all. There. By the way guys, I'm using the shade Cypress Umber the darkest brown in the palette and now I'm just going to do the same to the other eye and basically I'm just stamping the shadow down there we go so now the inner corners are marked and the eyes will look more angular, like they're tilting downward. So now we're going to move over to the actual eyeliner and for this I use the same brush, same powder. And I'm just going to focus on where I place the eyeliner. So I'm going to start it up a few millimeters higher like here 
and I'm going to make it a bit more like this than this so I kind of pull the eye up and then I'm just going to connect it but the rule that I go by is that no eyeliner is going past the midpoint of my eye I don't want to drag it towards the inner corner because then you will get more of that rounded effect You can see on this eye, I angled it way too low. You can see the difference. This one looks so much more pulled up. So I'm just going to fix this eye and then I'll be back. So there we go. Now I'm just going to take my concealer brush and I'm going to go underneath the liner here to sharpen it. And then I'm going to take a mix of Cypress Umber and Noir, just a tiny bit of black in that. And then I'm going to define the liner. Now again, I'm going to go in with this brush with no more powder. I'm just going to use it as it is. And I'm going to just blend this over the liner so it's not that harsh. I'm not too careful with this because I can go in with some more concealer on the outside to clean it up. So I'm just taking my concealer brush again with a tiny tiny bit of foundation just so it matches my face. And then I'm just going to stamp this like this and just tap over it. So now I have kind of cleaned up the eyeshadow and the eyeliner without making it too harsh. So now I'm going to curl my lashes. And we're ready for mascara. I'm going to use my YSL mascara. This is the Volume Effects Post Seals. One of my faves. And the trick here, especially if you're just going to use mascara, is to only apply on the outer part. And try to build up the product mostly on the outer lashes so you get that feline why? <laughs> and also drag your lashes to the side. And the lower lashes I'm just going to apply to the outer lashes here and drag them sideways. Now I'm going to apply my lashes. These are cut off, so it's just the corners left. And these are from Ardell Demi Wispies. And if you have larger eyes, you can use a full lash or a longer lash, but I have really small eyes, so I prefer to just use these tiny, tiny lashes. Okay, so you just want your lashes to be really tacky before you apply them because we are now going to place them on pretty straight like this so they sit higher up than your actual lash line this will also help to lift the eyes even further 
you can see a big difference with this small step. So now I'm just going to apply the other lash and then I'll be back. And that is the eyes completely finished. I will try to put up a side by side uh, without makeup and with makeup. But yeah, I love this look. I feel like I look so more awake and very flirty. Love it. <laughs> So now I'm just going to do my lips to finish this off and I want to use the MAC lip liner in Stem Culture and I'm just overlining very slightly. And then I'm going to go in with the MAC lip liner in Spice to spice things up. <laughs> And I'm just going to put this underneath here. And also over here. And then I'm just going to use my finger to Tap it together. Now I'm just going to go in with a bit of this Stunna Lip Paint from Fenty. This is in the shade Unbutton. This is seriously one of my fave nudes. And I'm just going to... <laughs> I need to stop talking when I'm doing my lips. And I'm just going to tap three dots on my lips and there. And then I'm just going to do my finger again. I'm just tapping it out. So this is the finished look. I really hope that you like this video. I try to really simplify the fox eye because it's not really hard at all. You just need to kind of focus on where you place the products. And of course you can do this look with any color. You can go crazy or just plain like I did. <laughs> So if you like this look, please give it a thumbs up and comment your favorite tip in the comment section and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!